YouTube, it's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys. We are doing a vlog. It's been quite some time, man. It's been about two weeks since we, you know, really stepped outside and did anything, and it's been some reasonings behind it, but we're back at it. Um, today, guys, I wanted to go to a couple shops that I haven't been to in quite some time. One is actually at a brand new location, and the other one is the home base Soul Play, of course. So, guys, before we get into this video, though. I gotta give a huge shout out to Scentbird, who are our sponsors of this video, and I have a few words to say about them. So all my fellas out there, man, I know you're either single or you got a lady. And one of the most important things when having a lady or being single is smelling good. So without further ado, I present to you Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly subscription service to all the biggest brands out there when it comes to cologne. And for the ladies out there, they got also perfume. And also skincare, which is brand new. If you don't like stacking up or piling up on cologne, because it can be very, very expensive, then Scentbird may actually be a good option for you. For only $15 a month, you can get each and every month a brand new one or the same vial of a monthly subscription service of cologne. Some of the biggest brands out there include like Gucci, Hugo, Boss, uh, Kenneth Cole, Tom Ford, and many, many more. Each 30 day supply comes with around 120 to 140 sprays. It's fairly simple. You get it in here. You actually get it in this little nice little cover. You pull that out. Let me, let me just let me just do the whole this whole shebangers for you. Scentbird, boom, you got it. Slide it out. Whoop. Twist it. Yep. Spray it. Sp spray it. You're good to go. And then you can also see. Oh, that one smells good. How much you actually have? This is actually Dolce Gabbana, the one for men. This is my valve right here. Check it out. Check how much it is. And you can actually see how much you have left. And this is way bigger than what you normally get when they give you those little samples at the mall or whatever. You slide it back in, you twist it, and it's good to go. This one is actually really good though. Like I had to test this one on Nicole. This is a good way though to try all the designer brands that you like, Gucci, all that without having to spend the crazy dollars when it comes to it. And you know, a monthly supply for $15 is not that bad. But wait, there's more. You can use the code WILD30 right now and get 30% off on your first month. That's $10 on the first month. If you want to just give it a try, see if you actually like it. They actually have some skincare products, which I have not dived into yet, but I actually heard about some of them, like Anderson Supplies, Charcoal Line, and I believe another one is like Ernest or something. Anthony Brands, Ernest Supplies, and Charcoal Line. That's what it is. And after that 30-day supply, you can either get more of it, you can change it out. You can even upgrade to two or three different valves a month. So check it out. Use the code WILD30. It will get you 30% off, $10 for the first month. Huge shout to Scentbird and uh, we're good to go. But this month now, I picked Dolce & Gabbana. We got Tom Ford and Gucci. And last but not least, English Laundry. Now, I had to pick that Gucci because, you know, Gucci, Gucci, Poochie, Poochie, Tom Ford. Very big brands, Gucci, Tom Ford, and Dolce & Gabbana. The laundry, English Laundry was something new that I really didn't know much about, so I wanted to just see what it was. But I had to try out the Gucci's and see, like, how these colognes really were. And I wanted to test them out on Nicole as well, you know, to see if she actually like them. But hey, if you do pick it, I honestly highly suggest get that Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men, because this one smells really good. We're gonna go test it out right now. All right, so we're gonna go downstairs real quick. Just test the smell test real quick. Let's see what she said. Ah, you don't, give me a hug. Oh, give me a hug. Good. Yeah, I know, thank you. What does that one smell like? Thick? It's Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana. So there you go, you heard it first from a lady. Try it out, if you like it, keep going. If not, try something new. Sit bird, thank you. So yeah guys, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, and let's get straight into it, man. Let go. All right, guys, so we're outside right now at Sugarloaf Mills. We're gonna actually stop into the Nike outlet as well, but I think first things first, either Nike's outlet or we'll just pop up on Andreas at ATL Addictions, wherever comes first, because I honestly don't even know where his store is at right now. So I do know, okay, food court Nike's right here. I don't know where his store is at though. Also, apparently in this mall, there's a store that sells uh, like, you know, more figurines, Dragon Ball Z figurines. So I don't mind stopping in there and looking as well. So we're at the Nike, let me see what's inside here. So they got some Kobe's up here for 140, some Pro Tros, another colorway as well. I don't know, these look kind of nice, they feel kind of good. 
<laughs> nah, I'm just looking. Yeah, I got these though. They look nice though. We got the purple ones on the back. Yeah. The purple ones? The purple ones. I'm gonna check them out. Back on the on the wall back here. All right. Oh, we got the flight posits too. Oh, these are what she talking about right here. Twenty percent off on all footwear. This is 175. Can't do my math right now. We got some pennies. I just saw something else. Oh yeah, I just saw something. Oh yeah, the erupts. Indestructs, I mean. Kyrie's. They got a couple little things here and there, but no J's. No J's at all. So we got the finish line, which I don't think they have anything, honestly. Some multicolors, but straight on that. I feel like y'all doing too much. What is this shit? You me sandwiches. Bruh, this looks like some straight. What's that girl's name, bro? She just did something with uh, uh, Kanye West's daughter. She be wearing colors and shit. This is her shoe. For some reason, though, this one doesn't look as bad. It looks like an old school vibes to it, and it doesn't really mimic too much of anything. But it looks like fucking. It just looks too crazy to me. Still got these deaf shoes. I hate them. And then this is a, this is just disrespect. Whoever that works at Felix, whoever made this shoe, I don't care how big, how tall, how strong you are. I'm willing to swing on you. Curry fours, first time seeing them finally. I might come back for these. Depends on what I, what I cop today. You saw that. That shit's broken. What the fuck? They got the why not? It's another shoe I might go ahead and drop. Still looking for the store. No clue where it's at. We're gonna keep on looking though. It's somewhere. It's a big ass circle, so I'll end up I'll end up finding it. Ah, I had to do a little something something, man. You guys are right. So I was just in FYE and I see right here ATL Addictions right around the corner. So here we go. I don't know if Andres is here, but I'm here. Hopefully he's here, I don't know. So we're inside the new store right now. Unfortunately, Andreas is not here to give us that proper tour. So we will definitely be coming back in the near future, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick little glimpse of the new shop. It's how clean it is, the shoes they got here. And I'm definitely gonna be probably making a couple purchases down the road or probably even today. So let's go ahead and check it out. So in all honesty, bro, these right here, I like these. I didn't like them at first. I talked my shit about 350 V2s, but this one in particular, like, it's nothing wrong with this shoe. This colorway is nice. It has that nice salmon pink to it. And I might just pick this one up. If it got my size. They have a size nine right here. I don't know if that one up there is an eight and a half. Eight and a half and nine, either one I might, I might get that eight. I think that's an eight and a half. I feel, I feel like that's an eight and a half right there. I'm definitely gonna be picking that up. More than likely if I can work out a good little deal, but Andreas is not here, so we're a little hurt. That was shoe number one. Shoe number two, it's not really my favorite shoe right now, but these analogs, we got them in here. I don't even think these released yet right here. So if I can get my hands on these as well, but I just, the thing is I don't know what size. I don't know what size this is, but if I can get my hands on this one, it might be a flipper skipper down the road, make her hipper tipper on the tip of the zipper. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what that is right there. And then last but not least, these are still sitting here, bro. These are the Pearl 7s I told y'all about a long time ago. They're still sitting. And uh, I'm starting to feel some type of way. I might, have to let, I might need to jump the gun on them. We got the Royal, Royal Foams. I think they just bought these from a customer. Oh no, they're 11 and a half. One, 225, pretty good condo. Yeah, so this one, is nine so we're gonna go ahead and jump the gun on it this one i don't know what size this one is but this one hasn't came out yet right it has for some reason i thought it came out at the end of the month or when did this one drop this one this is salt ain't it i'm tripping i thought it was the, i thought it was like the, a, the analog yeah that's why i was like analog that one hasn't come out yet. okay this one looks identical to it that's why 
All right, I'm gonna, this one is fine. I'm gonna keep looking though, but this one for sure. So they got the new thing for the keep. Oh, these are t-shirts. Right, this is a piece of paper, t-shirt. I wonder if you get the shoe. I'm pretty sure you get the shoe instead of the t-shirt, but the t-shirt comes along with it instead of the actual shoe since I'm pretty sure over time now we've been noticing when you try to use key masks, they don't always be following in and stuff. So after looking in here though, we're gonna get them clays. I don't know what else I really wanna pick up right now at the moment because I pretty much got everything at this point. I gotta make a smarter decision, but those clays, I definitely deserve to give them a little bit more respect than what I have given them already. So we're gonna jump the gun and cop those and more than likely probably just come back once Andreas is actually here to do something a little bit bigger, you feel what I'm saying? And those 700s that I thought were the analogs were actually the salts. So I lose some cool points. Unfortunately, Andreas was not there, but he will be back on Monday. So on Monday, we'll probably come pull back up, do something at the shop. I don't know yet. We'll do something though. Pull up, have a little bit of fun, drop some, drop some, some guala, you know what I'm saying, in the building and uh, go on from that. But we're gonna stop over by uh, Soul Place since we ain't been there in about two weeks. And it's, a, it's literally across the street. So I'm gonna go ahead and just jump the gun and go over there real quick. Soul Play, I can't even get this so damn bright in here. Yo, it's finally back. back. That's that's camera yes. Oh yeah, you already know how to pull up. Surveillance camera, man. Yeah, checking what's going on in here. Thank you, sir. Ashtray, you smoking now? Yeah, there's a few cigars here and there. For real, we smoke cigars. No, some, uh, I do smoke cigars. Uh, we need some cigars in here then. We really do, man. We already got the drink, by the way. There's I know you're cigars, missing. Man. You're missing out. So, so TJ want to see the app working in full effect. We're gonna change it the color to. Yellow, green, and I'm gonna I'm loosen them. You probably can't, you can't probably see it, but you can feel it. I'm gonna tighten it. Kind of. Yeah, I do feel it. That motherfucker got tight too. I'm gonna put a ball on them bitches. Now, what colors can you change it to? Uh, Anything? There's a couple different colors. They're gonna do more, I think, down the road, like more colors and stuff like that as the app continues. All right, guys, so I'm off the rip picking this hat up right here. This hat's been sitting here for quite some time. It's the last one. I don't know what I can rock with it really. Um, it's a pink and it's like a ripstop type of material. But I just need to go ahead and grab it because I just need to grab it. And I don't, once it's gone, it'll be gone forever. The thing is about me though, hats is I don't really wear hats as much, but I like to buy them and I don't know what. Maybe I'm preparing for the day I cut my hair because I'm gonna love to wear hats then, so I don't know. Honestly, right now, there is not much as far as Jordans that are releasing. Go check out the last video I did about top sneaker releases of the month of April. Um, they still got the sixes still here. And the Tinkers, I believe, or some Flint sixes, whatever you call it. A fucking uh, like, kicked in the chest. This is like a, what size is this? Yeah. Jesse might come pick this up. Size 15. Sports Illustrated 1. I'm gonna hit up my boy Jesse, see if you want them. Got these Hirachis, these things, the new Hirachi edges. The retail is $100. It's a good $100 shoe if you ask me from Nike. I really think so. You guys who jump on the boat, if you're looking for a nice budget sneaker, just still on the fence about these. I like them, but that cement, yeah, straight. Can't believe these are still sitting. I thought these were gonna be instant seller outers, but um, that didn't happen, didn't happen. I'm on the fence about these, man. 190, never mind. I'm over the fence, nah. $190 for the DT Vapor Max. Can't get jiggy with that shit. What I think I'm gonna pick up today, though, is, I don't know, man, I like these 76er pants. 76er, old school material. I like this one, but I also like, they got the spurs right here, and I just picked up the spur hat. So I might just do this whole spur fit. Only thing is like this color right here, what do I have? I need to figure out what color I got that's this. I got, I feel like I got some shoes that would match. I'm gonna have to go ahead and pick that up. Champions, 
Chris is in the back doing pictures for the new BBC collection, by the way. Where's that at? This one match that Spurs. It's nothing on the back, though, and it's long sleeve. It's not cold no more. Ice cream. So we're going to pick these up. Pick those up. Pick these up. Got the matching fingers. In all honesty, can we do it? Can we do this? Like, we can, but like, that don't go, but that goes. I might have made a mannequin. Let me know what that, can we, can we do that or not, chat? Chat, my comment, ah, my bad, comment section. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Nope. Okay. Sloppy patchwork, Nike. Jesus. All right, guys, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pick that up, pick that up, and I'll pick up a pair of shoes, and we're gonna head back to the crib, because double up shoddy time. All right, guys, so we finally got back from our little adventure. We picked up, first and foremost, this hat from Soul Play. I mean, I gotta throw this on the beginning. You know, let's check it out. Bam, this thing is beautiful, bro. He's beautiful. Spurs hat. Now, I'm a Lakers fan at the end of the day, but I have the utmost respect when it comes to the Spurs because we had a lot of big battles Within that time period, Tim Duncan, five rings. Kobe Bryant, five rings. A lot of people sleep on Tim Duncan when he did his thug dizzle. You feel what I'm saying? We also picked up, along with that Spurs, some Spurs pants. Now, I actually have the Charlotte Hornets version of this. Now, I have the Spurs one. I'm just waiting on the Lakers one to pop up at the store so I can grab that automatically. You feel what I'm saying? But we got Spurs right there. Goes with the hat. You feel what I'm saying? And it may go with the shoes that we also got. We picked up... These clay 350s from ATL Addictions. Huge shout out to ATL Addictions. The brand new store looks fabulous. Unfortunately, I was unable to get a hold of Andreas. Well, I actually got a hold of him on the phone, but he was not there at the store. We're going to pull up back up on him maybe sometime this week or next week. We have a lot of shops to come pull up on, man, that we haven't been seeing. People have Versus, Leo, I'm coming to see you, Lennox Mall. I need to go to premium kicks. I need to go everywhere. Just go show my face, let everybody know I'm alive still. You feel what I'm saying? Because I've been kind of sheltered in lately. And it's been a lot of the moving and stuff, but it's all good. It's all gravy. We picked up these clay 350s. Um, overall, I like them. They're cool. They're nice. But uh, I talked a lot of crap about them. I did. I did. I did. So it's all good, though. I'm going to go ahead and uh, take my L as far as I like these a lot, even though I don't like, there's so many 350s dropping. I like this colorway in particular a lot. I actually have a pair coming in from Yeezy Supply within the next couple of days. It might be coming today. I actually shipped that yesterday, so it might be coming today or tomorrow. So when I get those in, I'll also have those double up shotted, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep both or flip one or do whatever. They're not really going for much, so. You know, I just have to wait to see. And actually, guys, I actually had to reshoot this outro because there was no audio in the first outro. So if you remember, I picked some things up from FYE and I had a box. The box was this guy right here. This Goku, check him out. Goku from Gandista. I mean, this thing is amazing. The quality, let me just zoom in because y'all need to just see like, the, the detailing on it. Y'all might not be into the action figures, it's all good, but this stuff is pointy, bro, it hurts. Like if I just stabbed you with this, you would be, you would be, feel it. You could get stabbed with it. But the materials, everything about this statue is A1 steak sauce, Goku, and he's going up there with Brawly. I had the Vegito one also that I picked up, but the Vegito one, he's like super, like small, like, I didn't know he was gonna be this small. Well, he's not small, but he's small compared to them. I mean, like, he gotta be by himself, bro. This this dude is lit too, but this Goku is like, it's too much. Then also I picked up three Funko Pops. Now, as stated, I'm not collecting. I'm not a collector. I'm not a collector. I picked up these gold editions of the Iron Spider. I picked up this gold edition of this Rocket the Raccoon. And I picked up this gold edition of the Iron Man. Focus on them, check them out. Let me hold, let me see if I can hold all three of these. Yeah, check them out. Had to pick them up. Um, they finessed me, F-Y-E finessed me. I bought, I was gonna get one, and then I bought another one. And then they were like, hey, buy two, get one 75% off. And I was like, God damn it. So I had to go ahead and jump the gun on that. I almost bought a Goku Ultra Instinct, and then I seen a Goku Super Saiyan. And I was like, I have too many like DBZ stuff right now. Like, I just need to focus on like a little bit more. So, I might get a couple more Funkos for the top row up there. You can't even see it yet because it's kind of empty. 
But we'll figure that out as the time moves forward. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you slap a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs, man. Comment down below. We want more vlogs, and we're going to make it happen. I want to do more and more vlogs than reviews at this point because I just enjoy bringing you guys along with my life and, you know, everything that comes with it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, slap a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Shout out to Scentbird. It's your boy, 20D2Wild. Checking in, checking out. 